Every year, thousands of students across the country begin their flight training. Whether it's overcoming fear, a career in aviation, or the enjoyment of flying, students start by enrolling in flight school. On the Sunshine Coast, GoFly Aviation, operated by Damien Wills and his team of instructors, work hard, have fun, and teach everyday people to fulfill their dream of taking flight. Calandra traffic, swing 8668, rolling at runway 05, Calandra. All right, let's go. 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3, full power, brakes off. And let's just steer it. And a little bit of interwind wind aileron too, so you can hold the stick over that way a smidge. Stick back, bring the stick back, get the weight off the nose wheel, and right rudder. That's it. Now pick a point out here on the cloud ahead of you, run up above the runway. Final runway zero. Seventy knots, so lower your nose a little bit. Full straight uniform, I've got crossing runway three zero. As long as you maintain your speed, come back around to the left a little bit and lock in on that cloud. Oh, uh, a point if there was a mountain out there, <laughs> you'd lock in on that too. Keep that locked in on the nose and hold your attitude. Seventy knots. Fixing eight five one five, turning bay zero five, touch and go, Calandra. Alright, once we get to 300 feet, you can go flaps up. Retrim. Retrim. You can lower the nose a little bit. And uh, on hot days like today, you wouldn't yep. want to be climbing at 70 knots constantly because the engine would get quite warm. Yep. You can lower the nose, just go to an 80 knot climb. And 500 feet, have a look and turn left. Right. And, uh, And rounds go, and then once you once you come around, have a look back, see where the runway is, and where you are in relation to it. You see how far you've drifted sideways. Not too bad. Righto, pick your point out here. That's 90 degrees to the runway. Keeping an eye on your height as well. We've just gone through 900. Yep. And, and when you're at 90 degrees, that's it. Level off. Power back a bit. Yeah, come back to four and a half thousand. The runway three zero. Level off at 2,000 feet and power back. So if you bring the power back, that'll also slow the climb down. And around you go. When, when you think you're spaced, the right spot. Right. Then up. Uh, oh, your nose has gone through 1,100 feet. So bring your power back just a little bit more and bring it around. So you can steepen the turn up a little bit. Otherwise, it will be too far out. So we've got a CT and a sling in the circuit. So one's just got airborne, so it's a CT. Bring yourself around parallel with the runway. No, it looks like the sling, so CT actually might be behind us. So we don't go out too wide. Right, we'll do our pre-landing checks nice and early. Yes sir, parachute just touched the ground. So the one I use, which works for everything that I've flown, including the Sea Fury, is brakes, check pressure, heels on the floor. Yep. Undercarriage in this aeroplane is down to bolted. Mixture we don't have. We certainly got fuel, and I touch everything. Fuel is on our left tank, yep. and we have sufficient. Both fuel pumps are on. Yep. Circuit breakers and switches as required. Hatches. Righto. Now at this point, once we've gone past, I shall come in with you, come on with you. We've gone past the end of the runway. I'd power back to 3,000 RPM. Hold the nose up and let the airplane slow down to 70 knots, and we'll go one stage flap. We'll do some flapless later. So yeah, no worries. Let's see how you go with flap. Hey, don't go too wide because we'll, yep. we've got other airplanes behind us, so yep. we want to keep it fairly tight. Okay, all right. Yeah, round to go. All right. Clan traffic swing 8668 turning base on runway 05, Calandra. So hold your 70, you're getting too slow, so nose down a little bit. 70 is very important all the way around, so keep it nice and tight. A bit tighter again. Tighter again. Yeah, okay. bring it around like this. Alright. Calandra traffic swing 8515 turning downwind 05, Calandra. Level. 70 knots, power back. Come back a bit more with your power now. I'd leave on at least maybe 2,500. I just come in with two and a half thousand RPM. Okay. 
and there's our parachute Jumpers, if you have to the yep. left, our jumper. So you can go, we'll go second stage, just like whatever you want to do, whatever flap you want to use, I'll leave it up to you. And we're still a bit high, so I'd power right back actually. Looking at the end of the runway all the time. And you can give you a turning final touch and go. Climb the traffic sling 8668. On final approach, the runway zero five, touch and go, Calandra. Now we're way high, so power right off. And if you wanted to go full flap at this point, that'll get us in there. We're a little bit slow. Yeah, so CT seventy five ninety nine, turn safe, runway zero five, touch and go, Calandra. Double check our wind from the left. And uh, at this point, I do a puff check. So pitch on prop, we don't have full fine undercarriages down and bolted flaps as required. Cow flaps. So. Just hold the Turning base, three, zero, touch and go. Oh, attitude, power right off. You don't want any power on it at all. Keep the nose down. Because we'll get into some crap air down here and you want all the airspeed you can get. Right, traffic, never enter time. It's almost three, down. Left wing down, just a little bit. Oh, balloon. We're going to hit a little bit hard there. Calandra, traffic, CT 7599, turn final, runway zero, five, touch and go, Calandra. And just gently on the pedal, there's another parachutist. Stick back a bit. And just hold it there. And let it fly away. Yeah, full Calandra power. traffic, sling 875, turning base 05, Calandra. And just hold your 70 knots. Lock in on something on the horizon over there. Yep. Not the birds. <laughs> Move at you guys. And just hold your 70. Yeah, you don't want to be too fast. It's just 70 knots, so we want to get up yeah, away from the ground as quickly as we can. Flaps are up. Alright. Eh? Keep it locked in on that point on the horizon. Yeah, 300 feet, and the flaps away. And then you can start getting ready for a turn, so right. we'll have a look yeah. out. I'll just little, get my little counter out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dodge the birds. I'll just count the number of landings we do with that. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll give a turning downwind call for the Navajo. Calandra traffic, sling 8668, turning a left downwind 05, Calandra. And got the Navajo in sight, we'll go behind you. Thanks, bye. Two parachutes landed at 3 0. Righto. What height are we? 1100. Whoops, a daisy. Got to be vigilant on that because the high performance aeroplanes are 1500 over the top of us. Right. We don't want to come up into their airspace. Okay. So we'll just follow the Navajo around. We can stick fairly close behind him because he's quite fast and he'll be on the ground and gone before we even get there. So, pre landing checks. Brakes. pressure. Yep. Off the brakes, heels on the floor. Undercarriage is down and bolted in this thing. We have sufficient, both pumps are on. Circuit brakes and switches as required. Oh, traffic, plus plus nine one zero zero. Location, the Buffer Mountain, trucking E2, Northern Bribe, the island maintaining 2,500. Now, come back to 3,000 RPM now. We've gone past the end of the runway. 3,000 RPM and stay close behind the Navajo. So, hook into your turn whenever you're ready. Okay. Right, center, left. Calandra traffic, sling 8668, turning base for runway 05, Calandra. Sit, watch your airspeed. Yeah, keep going around. Because he'll roll through and get off the runway fairly quickly. Cool, it's traffic uniform on the ISO, go approach for runway 30. That's no cool, John. Tighten it up a little bit. That's good. And thinking of the other pilots, I wouldn't make a radio call just yet because that guy's about to touch down. 
Might have his radio wound up. We make a call. Takes his concentration away from what he's doing. Yeah. Now that he's on the ground, turning final, touch and go 05. Under traffic, swing 8668, turning final, touch and go 05. Calandra. Right, oh. speed 70 knots. Look at the end of the runway, we're locking in on the windscreen. Yep. Hold that end of the runway on the same point on the windscreen. We need to power back because we're we're going to overshoot. We'll be leaving. Ground traffic, never need to tell us how clear for a long way to ground us. Okay. Full to traffic, the end of the runway. Yeah, I'm off to the north-east of the field. Passing 2300 on descent to 1500. Tracking 310 for the Glasshouse Mountain. Kabulja. We're going to arrive, we've got 70 knots, but we're going to arrive high, so we're going to bring the power back just a little bit. Calandra, traffic CC 75 times nine, from the left, base runway 05, switch and go, Calandra. Hold your speed, you're getting slow, nose down. That's it. Hold that speed all the way down. Yeah, all right, trickle your power off now. Fly the aeroplane down. Woo, break that rate of descent there, left wing down a smidge. Righto. Up to one, and away we go. Now get that stick back and hold there, right rudder. You need a lot of right rudder because the wind is blowing us off. Full power, full power. On the next one, I might um, show you how to do a wing down approach. Okay. And I don't, never actually had to do a wing down approach. Yep, very easy. Very easy. Because at the moment you're trying to grab it in. Yep. Coming in sideways, which is great. But we're not getting straight completely. In. And you're not inputting enough rudder. We need a ton of it. So yeah. don't be afraid yep. to poke as much as you need to in. Yep. Righto, 300 feet. Stuffed up. Have a look around and get ready for your turn. Right. Center. 30 degrees, angle of bank, and swing it around. Otherwise, we'll be out of here on Monday. Have a look back at the end of your runway. Yeah, we drifted a little bit. 90 degrees. And if you can remember, the easiest way to do it is before you turn, have a look above your wingtip on the horizon. Yep. See what's there. Swing around, level your wings on it, and there'll, there'll be a 90 degrees. Yep. Or near enough to it. Right, I'd be powering back. That's it. Lower the nose a little bit. We'll rocket through. Let's maintain a thousand feet this time. And around we go. Right. Center. So, give you a call. Turning downwind, runway zero five. Okay. Kind of traffic. Flying 8668. Turning downwind, runway zero five. Calandra. Bing! That's us going through 1,100 feet. Bush traffic uniform, I'm going to go 182, quite a place, I'm going to touch and go, cool stuff. Keeping that 1,000 feet is vital. So we need to come down a bit. And while we're doing that, we can do our pre-landing checks again. Let's get them out of the way early. Yeah, brakes, Brake check, carry. pressure, and heels on the floor. Uh, fuel set to our left and our fullest tank, uh, instruments all on the green, um, all our switches uh, are good, hatches and harnesses are secure, I'm okay, you okay? I'm fine, you now there's things on the ground, we're drifting in, see we're drifting in towards the runway, too close. Get to the end of the runway, power back to 3000, hold the nose up, until you've got 70 knots, and this time we're going to do some platform stuff. Okay. So we'll, hold, we'll still use 70 knots all the way around. Yep. And I'll show you how to do a wing down approach. So we're very close now. So we're going to need to extend our downwind. Use up some of that height. Or do a massive side slip. We know what we're doing. So you need 3,000 RPM. And slide down to 70 knots. And then trim it for 70 and we'll hold that all the way in. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Fly the airplane first and make it radio. Alright, round you go. Otherwise we'll be down at Lansborough. <laughs> Good. And keep an eye on just... Climb to traffic, swing 8668, turning base runway 05, There we are. We wouldn't make it back if the engine stopped. Okay. We'd be down on a lot, 1173 in aura. Speed. Oh, 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 shit. 
can edit that out, right? Sorry, yeah, yeah, good. Righto, 70 knots all the way down here. Line yourself up on the centre line, and I'll show you a wing down approach in the crosswind. Give you turning final, 05, touch and go. Commander traffic, fling 8668, turning final, touch and go, Commander. Runway 05. Righto. Power back. And you got it trimmed for 70 knots. Flybe traffic system 172, Yankee Romeo Echo. I can't leave over flying Donny Brook. Fly the airplane first. Uh, and then you set the trim to power right off. We were overshooting. Okay, like crazy. Have to do a bit of a. Uh, maybe not. So, the wind down. Yep. Is cross the control. Undertaking a scenic over the okay. And the wind has dropped off. Minute. Anyway, the wind's dropped off, so we come in cross control. Yep. Keep that wing into wind down a little bit. Yep. Give, me, give me just a touch of power. Touch of power. Touch of power. Touch of power. Yep. That's it. Something like that. Yep. Wing is down. We've got our 70 knots. Power yep. off. Power back. Power back. Keep our wing down. Yep, Touch down on that wheel first, yep. and we can fly along on that wheel, just like that. Yeah. Okay. Get it under control. Yep. Gently lower the nose. Okay, full power. Go, go, go. Give it nice and straight. Still your wing down a little bit into wind, and we come off. Come off the ground with your wing down slightly. Okay. The idea of that is that the wind doesn't get under that wing, yep. and lift it and push you off the edge of the runway. Now we can go without flap, we don't okay. need it. Go flapless all the way. And learning to do flapless is good because at some point the, the flap system will die. Yep. Either your battery will die, you might be able to get the flaps down or the flap motor will burn out. And you need to be able to land it with no flap. Yep. And it's no big deal. There's so many airplanes out there that don't have flaps to begin with. So. Right. Most of the aerobatic airplanes don't. If not all. Tiger Moth Stone, Cap on Stone, okay. Cup Stone, uh, yeah, like the Elegant Watch your attitude. Uh, and the traffic, thing 8515, turning base 05, Caloundra, touch and go. That's it, CT on final and aeroplane on base, so got plenty of room. So watch your height, I'd power back, lower the nose a little bit earlier because we don't want to go through that thousand. That's it. Commander traffic swing 8668, turning downwind from 105, Calandra. That's it, round to go. Right, and just watch your speed, if you bring your power back too much, just slow down very quickly, so we're just going to hold the 70 knots minimum. We've still gone through the 3,000. 1,100. Trim. Fly the airplane, and then you trim it. Don't fall into the, into the bad habit of uh, using the trim to fly the machine all the time. Right. Okay, brakes. Undercarriage, mixture, fuel set to our fullest. Instruments are good, everything's in the green, switches are all good. Um, hatches and harnesses are okay. I'm okay, you okay? I'm okay. Go far. Oh no, we should have. Yeah. Yep. 70 knots and trimmed. And go around, well, turn, not go around, but turn fairly quickly or fairly soon. Yeah. Hydro traffic, swing 8668, turning base for runway 05, touch and go, Calandra. And this time it's probably a bit too far out. Gotta find the happy medium. Yeah. So pretty much up Emerald Drive is the cross. <laughs> Don't do that. Put a taxi past my house. Right, <laughs> 70 knots, and yeah, trim it. Make sure it's trimmed. You can let the stick go, so if you have a bird come through the windscreen or something stupid like that, you can let the stick go and the airplane's not gonna dive or climb. Start your turn now, otherwise it'll overshoot. And watch your speed. The wind is blowing us that way. Yeah. We'll get one more in. So we'll do a touch and go. Yeah. Okay. Touch and go call. Landing traffic swing 8668. Um, on final for runway 05, touch and go, Calandra. Righto, speed, nose up a little bit, power back a bit. 
Find yourself up with that centre line and lock it on. They were too fast. That's it. Trickle, just trickle your power off and bring the nose up a degree or two. It'll slow it down, just hold it. Righto. Not too far. That's looking good. On the centre line. A little bit of power. Bit of sink there. That's it, but hold the nose down. That's good. A little bit of power. There, we're just going to hit the ground a little bit hard. Alright, off we go. Now, get that nose wheel off early and heaps of right rudder. And just hold it there and the aeroplane will fly itself away. Let it accelerate until you've got your 70 knots and then climb out at 70. Traffic. Here we are, India Tower, taxiing. Three hundred and one. Last would be up. Close to traffic. Yeah, like Mike, five miles north. Thank you, Captain. Thanks for all thanks for my direction. A little bit of left rudder. That's it. Just keep the ball in the middle. Just keep it nice and coordinated. Good. 90 degrees, wings level, keep that climb going. Right rudder. Okay, right, center. When you do your downwind call, just turning yep. downwind runway 05 climb. Okay. You don't have to do touch and go. All right. There you go. All right. Land of traffic, swing 68, turning downwind for runway 05, clamber. 1,000 feet, level out. They can lower the nose just a little bit in that turn. RPM is good. But oh, that's a good spacing. Parallel there, don't turn in any further. Pre landing check. I've got other traffic to up our QB exit, yep. so I'm 7 to 4. He's 5 miles south of the port car, to our right south, 500 climbing to the south, 500 good. over water, everything uh, green, tracking he's good. towards the See what's happening here, look at the runway. Uh, yeah. Traffic in this area, zero for Fox Vex. Need to get out away from it. The wind, was, the wind is partly to blame for that as well. Clark Shafi, no rain does not close back, making runway zero 05, copy traffic on the Atlantic Clark. Um, yeah, so we've gone past the end of our runway, back to 3000 RPM, hold the nose up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, thank you for flying Go Fly Aviation today. We're on our descent into Caloundra. I would appreciate it if you'd sit your uh, seat backs upright at trade table stage for landing. And uh, flight attendants, uh, please arm the doors and check. Come on, check. traffic, see how I might downwind, not my 3 0. Uh, That's it, 70 knots on the numbers. That's better. So have it trimmed for that so you don't have to apply any pressure at all. Born after the stick, it'll just fly itself. Looking good, base call. Just on base. Planet traffic coming out of 68 on base, turning for a runway 05 climber. He's going to hold clear for us. This is full stop, this one? Yeah. Alright. And final full stop, 05, Calandra. Find the traffic coming out of 68 on runway 05, full stop, Calandra. Righto. Oh, no. uh, getting a bit quick, that's it, nose up just a touch, and power back just a touch. Hold your 70 knots. And line yourself up with the centre line. Double check the wind socks. Yes, landing into wind. Pitch full fine, undercarriages down and bolted and flat. We've got none. Righto, power back, right back. Power back to idle. Righto, might need a little bit of a side slip, so I'll come in and give you a hand. Okay. Just got to watch our speed. Yep. We don't get under 70 knots. Yep. There we go. You're okay. Sir. That's good, fly it down, fly it down. Speed is good. Break your rate of descent, come down just a little bit further. Kick it straight. 
You want to be straight before you touch down and lower the nose gently on. Climb down, pick that rain, get all closed. Oh! You're lining up on 1054, pressure of pressure is overhead and field and car might be flight levels to climb down. And we'll let it roll through fairly quickly. So we get out of his way, he's, he held for us, so get out of his road.